Hey guys, Daniel here. Welcome back to the Motodan's Garage. Today I'm doing a wee job on the GS and I've got a wee issue when I'm starting the bike. Um, the starter motor sort of hangs on and you can hear the starter motor getting turned by the engine once the engine started. It did it a wee bit on that second time there. You hear that? So basically all I'm going to do is remove the starter motor, strip it a little bit. Um, I can't do a full strip on the starter as I think you need a special puller for the starter to separate it apart. Um, so I'm basically just going to do a, pull the front cover off it, clean it up, put a little bit of grease on the shaft and put it back on. It's quite a simple job to get the starter motor off. Um, it's just in behind this cover on the left hand side of the bike so we want to remove this, I think it's a 4 mil Allen key here. This cover will come off and then there's a couple of, I think it's 8mm Allen keys that hold the starter motor in. So there will be a plug on the back of this, which is the 12 volt socket here. Uh, you just push those two tabs in and it pulls it. This uh, this is the exciter wire here, so that um, when you press the starter motor, it sends 12 volts down here, which activates your uh, starter solenoid in there and allows the starter motor to turn. Uh, now what we have to be careful with here is this wire here. This wire here has got 12 volt battery power on it. Now in an ideal situation we should remove the negative terminal on the battery. However, I uh, can't really be bothered uh, doing that. So I'm just going to remove this off very carefully, pull it to the side and put some tape around it and probably a rubber glove. Um, you don't want that to touch any battery, any sort of uh, metal part um, that would be in earth. Uh, so we just have to be careful with that. So this is a 13. Now again, watch where you put your spanner. Because if your spanner is touching this and then touches a metal part, uh, that is bad. You could potentially blow up your battery. I'm happy enough with that there, but it's still something we've got to be mindful of. Right, to remove the starting motor, there is... I think there's just two, two M6 Allen keys. So I'm going to put on a, a UJ and an extension bar. the actual start motor. Self. Right, so I've got my start motor here. Uh, we need to remove the torque splits up here, which are T25s. A little T20 here, and that should hopefully separate there now. Yeah, there we go. Right, so this is what I'm going to clean in here. Uh, this mechanism here is what pushes this out. Uh, so just when this sticks, um, it's when you get issues. So that should spring back there. That should spring back, and that's not springing back. I don't really have much to clean this with, ideally you use brake cleaner. Um, all I've really got is some kerosene. I'm going to be kind of putting the kerosene down this way because I don't really want the kerosene to be going actually inside the star anymore. So. I'm not going to be putting heaps on either. Already look at the difference there. Springing straight back. All 
Right, that's all cleaned and dried now. Now, what I want to do is just put a very tiny bit of grease on here. You don't want to put too much, because uh, it will just attract the dirt. Now, where I want to go is just a little bit on the end piece here, which is what sits in the brass, brass bush on the inside of here. And then I want to put a little bit on this cor corkscrew here. Again, you don't want a lot, just a little sprinkling. Cool. Right, we can slap this back together now. And that should be our problem fixed. I'm going to put a wee bit of grease on this dowel here as well, which sits in the, the block. And we can chuck the start one back in. Just watch your wires here, make sure you don't catch anything. And just a wee nip up on these bolts here. Take my tape off of this. Again, be careful with your spanner. If you want to remove the battery, if you check out a video above you, you'll see how to remove the fuel tank um, and disconnect the battery. You don't actually have to remove the fuel tank fully, you can just take the back bolt up and lift it up a bit, and you'll be able to get to the battery negative terminal. Perfect, that's much better. Um, that literally took 10 minutes to do, and yeah, great. Job done. You know, if you find this video helpful, uh, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. There'll be more GS content um, at some point. Uh, leave a comment below if uh, you've done this or if you've got issues with your starter motor and your bike, and I'll try and answer them. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.